a short video tutorial on how to keep your yoga practice healthy and nourishing on your mat as well as off of your mat. Are you ready? Let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and turn to the side today. Today's tutorial will be on folding forwards for Uttanasana. Find your feet at hips distance apart. If you're not sure what that is, go back to my first video and watch that first. So we'll place our hands on our hips, point your elbows back, start to press down through your feet, and imagine your pelvis is like a bowl sitting on top of the legs with the legs inserting up into it. The bowl has water, and if you tip the bowl forwards, the water spills out, and if you tip the bowl back, the water spills behind you. If you keep it in a neutral position, the water stays level. So really think about this when you're doing your forward fold for the first few times. Taking your hands on your hips, point your elbows back, draw your shoulder blades together. Lift up through the crown of the head, take a nice, long, deep breath in, and we'll start to hinge from the hips. You can use your hands to remind you. Start to press your inner thighs back, keeping your hands on your hips. Strong foundation through the legs. And releasing your hands to the first stage would be onto your quadriceps. From here, if that felt like you could go a little further, you could take your hands to your shins. Pressing into the shins and reaching forwards through the chest. You could also go a little bit deeper, taking your hands to either your yoga blocks or your three minute eggs. Pressing down into the eggs, reaching the heart forwards, pressing your inner thighs back. You can also do it with bent legs. Maybe the blocks or the eggs are on the lowest level. As you progress and grow in your practice, you take a different hand movement. Maybe bringing the hands all the way down to the earth, pushing into the earth and lifting through the sit bones as you reach the crown of the head down. Again, inhale, lift up halfway, even if it's on your fingertips. Be sure to place your hands down on the ground or somewhere with a firm foundation. From here, I'll take my hands to my hips, Point my elbows up, lift the arm bones, draw the shoulder blades together, start to tuck my chin in a little bit and lift from the chest. Release the hands to the sides. Now go ahead and just have a look at the difference between what I just showed you and what I see so often with my yoga students. Quite often I see students tuck their tailbone under and start folding from the low back. Folding from the low back, folding from the middle back, folding from the upper back and letting their hands hang out in space. This does not feel good at all to me. I can feel the pressure down here in my low back. It puts extreme pressure down in the lower lumbar spine as well as the top of the sacrum. So to avoid this position, place your hands on your quadriceps or the shins, and then start to tip the hips forwards a little bit, flattening down the low back, reaching forwards through the heart. show you one more demonstration before I close the video today. One other forward fold I see at times in my classes is students swaying their hips back. Folding forwards, swaying their hips back, and reaching for the ground, or even hanging here. Okay? So remember when we fold forwards, we want to try to keep the hips over the knees, the knees over the ankles. So I inhale, I bring my arms up and overhead, either swan diving forwards or taking my hands to my hips. Keep the collarbone open, hinge at the hip creases, fold forwards over top of the thighs to the place of your choice. Release the hands down and reach the heart away from you, pushing hands in as you feel the inner thighs press back. And from here, I'll take my hands to my hips once again. Take the heads of my arm bones up, Engage my glutes to protect the hamstrings. Press down through the feet and lift through my chest. Well, there you go, yogis. 
That's how to keep it safe for folding on our mats in our yoga practice. Now let's think about this. How can you take it off your mat with you? Well, think about bending over to pick something up. How many times do we just bend like this without engaging our glutes, rounding our back, or even sitting in a chair, sitting in a chair like this. So from this position, find your pelvis in a neutral shape. Pull the flesh out from underneath the sits bones. Find your pelvis in that neutral position, the tall spine and the chest open. All right, yogis, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed my quick yoga video tutorial on how to stay healthy in your practice, on your mat, and off your mat in your life.